All right, as you can see, we have a guest joining us on the set. We have James Pugh from the Orion Library here to talk about some of the fun things that are happening over at the library. James, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Uh, what's going on? Well, this week is actually very busy for us. Yeah. This is our final push for our summer reading. Um, for those of you that have been participating in our summer reading program all summer since June, thank you very much. This is the last week, guys. you got to turn in all your stuff. Yeah. Start logging all those books and claim your prizes because you have until Saturday, this Saturday at 11 o'clock, to turn them all in. Otherwise, you don't get them. <laughs> yeah, so I was there for the kickoff, and that's always a lot of fun. Just yeah. a lot of traffic and family and people on the I, grounds of the library. I think we had like over, or at least close to 1,500 people. It was wow. amazing. Wow. Amazing yeah. turnout. Yeah, it's always great to see people at the library having mm -hmm. fun and got the great property and the garden back there and everything where all that activity can take place. And it's hard to believe it's gone. That whole period's gone by so fast that things feel like are it. wrapping up this this <laughs> Saturday. Definitely yeah. doesn't feel like it's been eight weeks, but it definitely has. Yeah. Um, and this Saturday, uh, we actually have a very fun guest coming. Um, his uh, he's a, a Michigan-based magician called Cameron Zvara. We've had him before. He's a lot of fun. He does some yeah. um, um, fun magic tricks for the kids. Uh, it's a very entertaining show for all ages. We encourage everybody to come and join us. Um, that's uh, start Saturday at 11 a.m. It goes until 12:30, and then immediately after, that's when we're going to be drawing those prizes uh, for the ra uh, for the big showcase raffle. So if you have your name in those raffles, be there by 12:30 so that you, if your name is called, you can claim your prize. That's awesome. What kind of cool prizes are we talking about? Oh, so many. Um, <laughs> I know that there's a couple of gift cards for adults to like Amazon. There's mm -hmm. a couple of um, fun toys and fun. Um, uh, educational kits for the kids. Uh, if you want to see all the the many different program or many different prizes we have yeah. for our program, uh, you want to check out our big showcase display that is in the lobby of the library. It has all the different toys and all the different prizes that kids can win. And if you want to come in and see them and then put your name in one to draw it, then that's the best way to do it. Yeah, you know it's funny. Uh, a couple of months ago, I had some stuff in the showcase of the you library did. to coincide really cool. with the fan uh, fandom fest over mm -hmm. there. And because kids were used to seeing prizes in the showcase, they thought they can win my stuff. <laughs> they and I'm did. Like, they did. No, get what? your grubby little hands <laughs> off my stuff. One kid really wanted to know what the um, the you had the mask or Darth replica Vader, of the mask. Yeah. Stormtrooper. Yep. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to know how much that was. We're like, That's not for sale. That's not for sale. Oh. Yeah, I you might let a really you check big it out. Disclaimer on that. No, <laughs> <laughs> not for you. I remember years ago when I had some stuff in the showcase, uh, a kid asked if he can check it out like a library book, and I said, no, no. no. <laughs> no. We do have a new collection called More Than Books Collection, but I don't think we'll be checking out masks or, <laughs> or costumes or anything like that anytime soon. But we do have some really cool stuff. We have uh, a cake pans, like those little special cake pans. We have one that looks like um, Big Bird. So if you want to make a <laughs> cake for that one birthday where they're really into Big Bird and you don't want to spend the money on it, come... Uh, get that cake pan shaped like Big Bird, and you can use it and bring it back. We have bikes you can check out. Wow. We have uh, new uh, VR headsets that you can check out. Wow. Wow. Um, those were provided by our friends. We have a lot new, uh, a lot of new things that we added to the More Than Books collection very recently. So again, get to the library and see what we have. Tools. We have oh, we have tool sets. Yeah. sets we yeah. have um, stud finders. We have radon detectors. We wow. have. A bunch of like random tools that you can come and check out and use and then bring back. I love that that the library scope of, of what it provides for the community just keeps growing and growing and growing. You know, yeah. I mean, it's so, you know, the idea that if I don't need this thing all the time and I don't want to buy it, you know, like w going back to military, like we used to be able to go and rent things, or not rent, but we could get <laughs> things like that from oh. like if we were living on base. Just to borrow it for a little bit. I mean, it's just really nice that this, like I yeah. said, it keeps growing. I'm a renter, a... and so I don't have a lot of tools and stuff in right. my apartment. I have like a hammer. That's about it. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, now you can come and check out uh, a whole, we have like a 200-piece mechanic set that you can come check out and use when you're fixing something and then bring it back. Yeah, yeah it was interesting because the, the purpose of your podcast that you do right here at ONTV is you talk about all the things that are available at the library beyond books and stuff mm -hmm. and now that scope is expanding uh, yeah to we're gonna have to expand what we talk about on we blame <laughs> our shelves we normally just stick to movies books um, 
video games, yeah, things yeah. that you normally find on a shelf. Yeah. yeah. Um, but now we're going to have to expand to like maybe tools and maybe. <laughs> but I'd have to get an expert <laughs> on that one. I'm not. I just. I know that a hammer puts a nail in the wood. That's, all I know. <laughs> that's, that's it. Yeah. That's all I. Got. <laughs> but you can check out a book too, or a video on how to use it if that's you want to. That's also true. You that's see. also true. I, I work at a place where I can just get all the information I want right there. <laughs> So wait a minute. The name of the podcast is We Blame Our Shelves. That's hilarious. <laughs> Where that who brought that who We uh, so I have a co-host Dan um, and we were just kind of toying. We wanted something funny, we wanted something punny and we came up with that. That's great. I love the name. Awesome. And also coming up this week, you have oh, yeah. some music at the uh, library. Talk about that. So you mentioned our beautiful grounds in the back of the library. We call it our reading garden. It has um, a lot of space for a lot of people to gather. And one of the things we're going to be doing back there this Thursday at 630 is the Motown Eagles concert. Um, they are an Eagles tribute band focused in Detroit, and they have been mm -hmm. around for a while. Um, they're going to play all the, the legendary band's greatest hits. And guess what? This is free for all members of your family. Just show up, enjoy the concert. Um, this is uh, provided by the Friends and the Michigan um, Council for Culture and Art and the Michigan mm. Humanities Council. So we'd like wow. to thank them for sponsoring this concert and to, awesome. to be able to provide it for free for everybody who wants to come. Yeah, how many families out there looking for stuff mm. to do? <laughs> you can't beat these free events. As a matter of fact, I was just yeah. at a free event just a week or so ago. We have some video of it, of the, the color run uh, that took place at the library. And uh, that's kind of a popular thing that people do. Uh, all oh. the participants <laughs> were encouraged to wear white. And uh, as they uh, ran around a course that was laid out around the library, there were five color stations where volunteers would douse them mm -hmm. with color cornstarch. You could see the clouds <laughs> of cornstarch. It's like a badge and, of uh, honor. Some of those volunteers got really aggressive with that cornstarch. Yeah, yeah. We uh, love our volunteers. Yeah, and uh, I, I asked, I'm like, well, how's, how much does it cost to take part? And they're like, oh, it was just a free event, just a fun thing for right. families to come out and do, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, oh, and, and that's why I love uh, the, the services and the programs we offer at the library. We do try to keep them free for everybody, and, and we have to thank our, our friends at the library uh, for that because they do provide all the program funding. So the next time you see a um, Friends of the Library book sale, or the next time you're in the library and you see those books that we have for sale all the time in the lobby, feel free to purchase it because that all those proceeds go back to the friends who then give that money to us to pay for the programming that you guys get to enjoy for free all year long. Yeah. So. And you can find some really great deals at the Friends Ooh, Book Sale. Yes, I remember I, I went in there one time and I got a stack of books and uh, I go to check out or, or to pay, you know, and I had a stack about this big and they're like, that'll be $6. Right. Like, $6. <laughs> I said, do you accept donations? And they said, yeah, sure. So I donated some more money because I felt like I was stealing. It's a really great deal. <laughs> the biggest, I think, event we have is on the, on the Saturday, the last day of the book sale. It's a $5 bag day. We give you a big <laughs> paper grocery bag and you pay $5 and you get to fill it up with books. And that's when a lot of people are like, no, 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 that's that's too too generous. And they like to give <laughs> donations. But please feel free to, to donate to our friends at the library because again if that goes towards them then that comes right back to us we can give you all those awesome programs yeah and they accept all different kinds of media too i, I yep. was just there a week or so ago i donated a box of dvds because mm -hmm. uh, i kind of replaced my dvds with blu-rays and things like that <laughs> so the dvds that i've replaced i'll box up and take to the library and donate so so yeah swing by the library and donate any books or media that uh you're trying to get rid of some clutter and it goes to a great cause thank you yeah. I'll go now, buy it, too. <laughs> donate it and I'll buy it. Yeah, and don't uh, wait till the last day. The good stuff will be there at the first few days. That's so true. Get out that's there true. Get the good stuff. <laughs> and, oh, and here's another one. I'm just going to plug this because I love Friends of the Library, and I volunteer as often as I can for the book, book sales, but they do need help with those. They need help they setting those up. Mm -hmm. And I think one's coming in September. Yep. And so, like, if anyone has a free moment and you love books... You love the library. I mean, give them give them a couple hours of your day, even just once during that week, would be really helpful to fill those holes. So that's my plug. Oh no, me. thank you for that. Because yes, you, you you don't have to give financially to to benefit the friends. You can give yeah. some of your time and, and volunteer, and we'd be more and they would be more yeah. than happy to, to to see you there. Yeah. Oh well. Now, even though the summer reading program is coming in, to an end this weekend, 
There are year-round reading incentives. Do you want to talk about we that? We do. Okay, so we have a very fun program for um, adults, which is called 50 Books in 52 Weeks. Mm. That does sound daunting. Um, but you don't need to read all 50 books in order to win prizes, much like the Summer Reading Prize, if, you, if you've been doing it. Um, as you read, you gain more badges, you gain um, more milestones, and you get a prize for each one of those, so you can gain prizes throughout the year. You don't need to get all 50. Um, for our teens, the, we have um, two. For the middle schoolers, we have uh, 75 books by high school. So that's you can read 75 books um, before from between 6th and 8th grade. Um, get prizes along the way as you do that. And then for high schoolers, we have 100 books by graduation. Um, and that is the same thing. You read books, you earn prizes. Um, the fun thing here is the books that you get to read, to, you have to read for school count towards this program. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> Even better. So you get incentive to kind of do homework because, oh, I'll get a prize if I finish this book. Um, and then for our elementary age kids, we have 500 books by fifth. And this is to help, like, you know, they're, they're learning their reading, they're, they're getting comfortable with it, they're building their skills. So this is just an incentive to keep that up all through, like, your kindergarten, first, second, third, because, again, you earn prizes for different milestones that you reach. Um, and then finally, why not start at the youngest age and uh, do a thousand books before kindergarten? <laughs> wow. <laughs> now that does sound like a lot, but I always tell parents, you can read the same book over and over and over and over again, and that'll count each time. So yeah. <laughs> if oh, they yeah. really love Good Night Moon and it's the 500th time you've read it, you'll get a prize. And those are pretty easy reading. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah. 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 What's on your nightstand right now? What are you uh, What are you reading? Right now, I'm finishing up the Expanse series, uh, the novels. Um, I love the TV show, and the book series is fantastic. And I'm in the final book, and I'm just really kind of like just stretching it out because I don't want it to end. <laughs> yeah, I've experienced that where you finish yeah. a book and you're kind of depressed because you're no longer in that right. world. Especially a series. If you end the series, you're like, oh, my, my yeah. favorite character. So I get to start yeah, over yeah. again and reread the whole thing, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Anything you're uh, reading right now? I am debating on entering into the Goldfinch. I see. Good luck. Okay. <laughs> That's So I have a Goodreads account and I keep all the books that I want to read, and I put all the ones that I buy from the book sale on, on the shelf in there. But it's one that my kids keep saying, you should read this one. And I'm like, why? And they said, because the movie was really good. And I was like, that's not the same thing. <laughs> but it's a daunting book. It's a, it's a full book size book. But it's good. It Maybe that's good. a fall read. Maybe. When you can't go outside because the weather's a little yes. cold, just curl up with a blanket, yes. nice cup of tea. Yeah. That, yeah. That Maybe I'll sense. save it for that. Mm -hmm. Oh, I finally did. tackled uh, a book that's been on my to-do to -do list for a long time. Have you heard of the actor Errol Flynn, oh, yeah. swashbuckler, yeah. Robin Hood? Uh, he wrote an autobiography later in life called My Wicked, Wicked Ways. <laughs> and uh, I fun. found like a first edition book on eBay and uh, just started cracking that open and reading that. And that's a lot mm. of fun. And uh, starts out with, well, it actually starts out with him as an adult experiencing some financial hardships, which is so shocking. Wow. Uh, but then he's like, before I go any further, let's go back to the beginning. And he talks about his youth and uh, childhood and everything. And he was rambunctious. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well. And uh, so that's been really fascinating because I'm I'm just such a big fan of like, the history of, of Hollywood yeah. and, yeah. you know, the Golden Age and stuff like that. So it's, it's it, fun finally starting I that. I mean, you had at least... Uh, 13 classic movie memorabilia in that display oh, sure. you had at the library. Oh, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's my whole apartment is decorated and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. So that's what I'll be reading uh, over the next few weeks. Just get home late from work, uh, lay down in bed, read a little bit before I fall asleep. So that's the did plan. You, did you enter in any of the, these books over no, the summer to get prizes? No, not yet. Oh, no, not I'm yet? not competing oh, okay. for prizes. No, no. <laughs> um, all right. So if anyone has any questions about all these programs and fun activities going on at the library, how do they get more information? Well, you can always visit uh, orionlibrary.org. You can follow us on Facebook, um, on Instagram. Uh, we do have a Threads. Oh, yeah, I, just, I just started a thread. Yeah, I'll, I'll um, and guys uh, we actually have a really fun TikTok. So if you if you're on TikTok and you want to see some really fun uh, videos that we've been doing, check us out there. And then, as always, you can call us um, and ask the librarian, and we'll be more than happy to help you find whatever you're looking for. Yeah, I don't know if we touched on it. If you want to touch briefly on the makerspace. Oh yeah, the makerspace. Oh, yeah. We actually expended some stuff in the makerspace. So everybody knows we have a laser etcher. Everybody knows we have a 3D printer. Yeah. Um, now we have an embroidery machine. So you can make some really nice embroidered um, t-shirts. Cool. Uh, we have a, a bigger Cricut machine so you can vinyl print some bigger uh, areas. 
Um, we have a digital uh, converter, so if you have like old videotapes that you want to put onto DVD, we hmm. can do that. Uh, some old, um, if you want to do the same thing with cassettes, we can digitize that audio. The makerspace is always expanding, and we're always looking to to uh, add more equipment to it. So feel free to stop by and see what we add whenever. Yeah, whenever <laughs> I go in there, there's that aroma of the burnt wood. <laughs> yeah, from the Glowforge. <laughs> yes, that thing is so cool. So yeah, lots of fun, exciting things happening at the library. That's one thing I love about our library. It's it's so progressive and forward thinking and it's always looking outside of just checking out books. There's so much to see and do there. It's really great to see. Thank you. So thanks for coming out. Thanks for having me. What's going on. And I can't wait to do this again. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you when you come in to do your next podcast. Yeah. We blame our shows. We blame can our be shows. found on SoundCloud. And so good. Where do you share uh, the podcast? You, share you can it. find it on our website. Okay. Uh, we have we have a link right there. But follow uh, ONTV Local Voice. They have a lot of great podcasts on there, too. Not just ours, but a lot of local uh, community members come in and make some really interesting podcasts. So I would recommend looking any of those up too. Yeah, but check theirs out. I, I listen to it and I laugh out loud sometimes, especially like during your introductions are always funny. So yeah.